The measure of the extent of ionization is known as the equilibrium constant Ka. As the slider bar is moved back and forth, focus firstly on the dissociation reaction at the top. Here we have an organic acid which is dissociating to a hydrogen ion H plus and a carboxylate ion. As the Ka increases, the reaction is driven to the right. This means that at high Ka values, the organic acid is highly ionized and very hydrophilic. Now let's focus our attention on the Ka equation, which shows the relationship between Ka and the concentration of both the original acid and its dissociated products. The concentration of these components is represented by the square brackets. This is where the pH comes into play because the pH is the negative log of the concentration of hydrogen ions. What this means is that when the concentration of hydrogen ions increases, the pH decreases. This is represented by the H plus getting smaller as the slider bar is moved to the right, that is, higher pH values. When the slider bar is moved to the left, the pH decreases, or to put that another way, the concentration of hydrogen ions increases, resulting in these ions reacting with the carboxylate ions to produce more of the neutral acid. In other words, the reaction is driven to the left, which is more favourable in reversed phased HPLC because the component is now in a non-ionic or hydrophobic form.